Of course, if I can charge that phone, I get advice from the phone app. John Thompson, battery fully charged. Thank goodness, now I can use this phone. The name Jack Thompson is displayed on the startup screen. Oh, I know where Jack Thompson's room is. He found an item smartphone. You can now click the smartphone icon to use it. So I'm learning a lot about this Jack Thompson fella. He died. I think I have his wedding ring. And I know where his room is because it had our name on his picture. Does that mean there's something in his room I need to find? He found an item. Smartphone. You can now click the smartphone icon to use it. I got a few new icons, actually. What the fuck is this one? Oh, it's my... When I got a flashlight. Oh, it's a mobile app. And I can see the time. I have to charge my phone. Phone address, SNS, light. So you can use that for the light, but I mainly use this a lot of the battery. SNS, casino. I guess I'm out of luck today from John Thompson. My partner is still in bed. How long is she going to sleep? This is the Rhodos Island. This is my third visit here, but there's always something new to discover. Also, do you notice the dates that these were posted on? These have been very, very recent, except for those in the future. But still, though. The staff of the restaurant and my partner celebrated my birthday. I'm in the Mediterranean. The breeze feels great. I bet this is very important. His birthday is March 14th. I feel like this is supposed to give me a clue on something. Kokichi Yamazaki. <laughs> There you go. I want to comment on that picture. Can I make a post? Murder about Port Oceanus. Help. I got an image for you. Post. I hope someone sees this and comes to save us. I have made my <laughs> social post for the day. Now, I think I know what I need to do. I need to use this phone thing I've obtained. My new magical light and look inside the room that was previously dark. Now, <clears throat> moving out from there. I'm assuming I can now enter inside this room. Yep, because I got a light source. It was a dark room before, but now it's a room. Peekaboo, this isn't spooky at all. This room doesn't look like he's been here corrupting anything. This is fine. The closet door has been completely destroyed. How unfortunate. The monster must have done this. This is crazy. Monsters just don't like closets. You can hide in them. Uh, well, you know, I, if I was a monster, I'd come to dislike closets too and have the people keep on hiding in them and I, for some reason, can't sense them if they don't breathe. My phone is missing. I know I left it here. Is this my room? So someone stole my phone. It's okay, because I stole Jack Thompson's phone. So this is supposedly my room. My room, my room, talking about my room. What's down here? And also, I guess we have to enter inside this bedroom. Or maybe it's inside my luggage. Oh. Oh, wait, that's not my phone. That's the phone in here, isn't it? It's a dumb idea for me to answer this. I'll do it, though. Hello? Monica? Is that you, Monica? Jessica? It's okay. I've seen it too. You have to keep calm. Where are you now? Can you get help? I'm on the floor where we got separated. There's no way out of here. I couldn't get through to anyone until I tried calling the number for your room. Listen, we need to stay together. I'm coming up to your floor now. She's gonna die. But I'll try my best to save her. You know, it's my blind run, so whatever, but... Anyways, what's inside my stuff? I assume I know how to open up my own thing. This is your suitcase. If only I brought something that could be used against that monster. Or anything at all. If I can reobserve it. Unfortunately, I'm not finding anything... Was there anything that was useful inside my room? What is rooms, even? If only I could just collapse onto this bed. I could would probably never wake up again. It's a theory. I think if I figure out what the pause game function was. Very helpful. Wait, was there yeah, there is something here. Is that a fuse? Please tell me it's a fuse. 
A spray can purchased from before the cruise is on the table. Oh yeah, I forgot I brought this can of pepper spray. Will this work on the monster? I don't know. Oh, if the monster starts chasing me, can I pepper spray him inside this room? I'm gonna try that next time. Just wanna see what happens. It might get me killed. But I got a save point. I, I can live a little. I wonder if you can even enter inside these rooms. That doesn't seem like it. Back out I go. If I get ambushed again, I'll run to this room and I'll try and pepper spray him. I just turn off my phone though. So I'm wondering if I can use the wedding ring as a goddamn fuse. It doesn't really make much sense in my head, but you know, I don't really have any other ideas. <laughs> so, well, of course, can I like. I mean, there's a few dumb ideas I have, but. I don't actually think those are the answer. Like, can I use wedding ring on this? That I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking. I don't think would a wedding would that even like conduct any sort of electricity? I don't think so. This is obviously locked. I assume I'm not supposed to use the key card here. Okay. So I think I know what I need to do with the key card already, and I'm gonna do it. But I don't know what the wedding ring is for. It could be for something later, but I need a fuse, and I don't exactly know the right fuse for the job here. So hop on out. Is this past the bucket area, or is it before the bucket area? Okay, you know I think I actually have to turn around. I'm gonna run this way. She's got the right idea. So, dumb idea. This isn't gonna work. We you know you don't know. Maybe I get the elevator working. We replace this fuse. But what could I replace the fuse with? A wedding ring? Yeah, I didn't think so. That seemed too far fetched even for me. Key card. Card reader for the elevator, but the lights are turned off. Card keys won't help the elevator has no power. So I'm going to assume that maybe this bucket and like, let me try this. A bucket, great, I'm saved. Let me let me science for a second. What? Oh. Oh! <laughs> right, Ryan. Right Sorry, I clicked out of the screen for a second. I wasn't expecting to do that. Use this bucket? Apparently not. Try and catch my stamina up. I'm no, not there. I know where I'm going to. This is what I was worried about. Come on, gain your stamina back, girl. At least I just saved, even though I do get caught. Okay, I just got my stamina back before this happened, so I was able to fortunately fend him off. I think I ran the opposite direction. <sighs> this is gonna be a nuisance. Unfortunately, that takes up a lot of my stamina. I think is what happens is that if you fend him off, you survive, but use up a lot of your stamina. I think he's getting up and I'm getting up. Trying to stationalize this. He's still kind of far away. Let me get my stamina back, because I kind of know what I'm doing right now. Only kind of, though. Gonna use it. Why do I have a baby cross? Probably shouldn't go in the room after him. But it was actually fine. That did actually ward him off. That's good to know. It seems unlikely that the phone will ring again. I have to find Jessica. She says she's at the front desk. 
Yeah, but I heard baby screams that time, most certainly. Fortunately, I've now used that, so the defense which I figured out for myself has now been exhausted. Let's just check in this again. Completely destroyed. Monster is out of the way. Let's go on out. Hip. Well, now I know two methods on this floor to take care of him. So I have a phone. I guess I need to explain. You know what? I mean, would there be anything inside the body, inside the freezer, do you think? I'm thinking about this for a second. Oh, my phone's going off. Yeah, let's talk. Hello, this is Angie. Are you okay? Everyone's making a fuss here because the elevator stopped working. Um, hello? Who is this? Where's John? Uh-oh. I, uh, picked up his phone. I thought to take it to the front desk, but the elevator isn't working. I see. Thanks for picking it up. That's my husband, John's smartphone. Is he on your floor? Uh... uh <laughs> I'm not sure. That's okay, dear. You won't even recognize him. Oh, okay. We meet up at the front desk once the elevator is fixed. Everyone's meeting up at the front desk. This is where my walker's gonna come in. Yeah, I checked it out. It looks like one of the fuses has blown. Can you give me a hint? Well, he could easily fix that with the tools he carries around with him. John's an electrician, so he always has his tools in his suitcase. Oh, we have a combination now? I'll tell you what he looks like, so please find him and ask him to fix it for us. It'll probably be faster than wa or waiting for the crew. Right, I'll do that. You know you know who you got this phone from, ma'am, right? Monica. Monica, he's dead. You're not gonna be able... Ugh. So he's got the tools to fix a fuse inside a suitcase. Can I... Is there any information maybe on... Maybe, like... Maybe the wedding ring can be used. I don't know why that's my first idea, but maybe the wedding ring can be like used on the lock. <laughs> what is this, Resident Evil game? Maybe, actually. Okay. Withheld. Probably a creeper. Scissor walker. You have a phone. Hey, John, how is your luxurious life aboard the cruiser? Everyone's calling John all of a sudden. We've lost, we're lost without you, honestly. There aren't many electricists that could replace you, and... Hey, excuse me? Oh, um, oh, is this John's wife? No, but I need you to help immediately. I need to get help immediately. What, who is this? Have I got the wrong number? Just listen, there's been a murder. Lots of people are being killed. I'm not sure what you're playing at, but if you've got John's phone, you should return it to him now. He's dead. Wait, please listen to me. Oh, hung up on me. What a problem. What way was I going? Hopefully this way, if I see two things open. Oh no, I went the wrong way though. I wonder if there's anything I can do in here. Well, you know what, I'm just gonna go to John's room. I already know what's kinda going on there at the very least. John's a very popular guy. Popular guy John, I guess. Oh, what a what a character. I mean, you're obviously John. At least you're carrying John's phone. Sorry, mister, I'm gonna borrow your smartphone. Uh, phone address, Angie. The call isn't going through. We better see? This call isn't going through. I don't know. I think going to call him again. Withheld. Help me, withheld. The call isn't going through. Oh. I go back to my phone things. SNS. Murder aboard. Oceanist. Help. Post. I don't need to post that message again. Spam the internet. Ah, uh, light. Okay. Well, now I know. I'm online. Saying it was really of use in the elevator, of course, is out. So, time to head to his room, which hopefully was over here if I remember correctly. If it 
isn't, then I am... I am lost. So let's see. Scissor Walker starts, because it's the first room I always ran into when I entered inside this location. Actually, you know what? Can I interact with this sewing machine again? Have a hand popped up? In fact, I never really tried that, did I? The spirit hand is visible from the dispensing pocket. Yep, well that's unfortunate. Disfigured hands and all that. Usually not a fun deal. Usually not a fun deal at all. So which way did I run? I feel like I always ran this way when I was being chased. Like, da da da. I'd go over this way. And I feel like the door of which I got out of here with was over here. But obviously this isn't right because I didn't end up here. So maybe I ran the opposite direction. The opposite direction could mean a few things though. Maybe, oh wait, actually, you know what? I think that she actually started over here, come to think of it. Because I think that she was standing here and the monster came out of the soda machine, so she ran this way, but I got confused because the camera angle would start. So I think she actually ran here. Yeah, and then I think I ran down here. I was trying to remember my way back to good old John's room here, and I think this is right. And I think it's the store coming up in a second. Not this one, this should be the next one, I think. Yeah, okay, I think this might be it. Let's open this, and yeah. Now I'm going to go in here, and yeah. The suitcase belongs to John Thompson, the man found dead. Any clues for the passcode? Enter the passcode. Well, I guess this won't get me anywhere. Well, you could see her typing all 999 of them. I'm actually going to first save my game with this phone again. There's a phone charger on the table. Do you want to plug your phone in there? Yes, I do. Yep. Battery fully charged. Jack Thompson. It'd probably be his birthday, which was 0314. Remember I made that note earlier when I was looking at it? It's probably going to be his birthday or something. A lot of people make it their birthday. He mentioned it was his birthday on... There may be clues for his password on his NSN. Yeah, okay. You know, I already figured it out. I think, I think it's 0314, because that was his birthday, he mentioned. I'm a magician. I remember that. In the suitcase, a small box filled with parts for electrical appliances. You found an item fuse. 24A is written on it. I'll keep that in mind in case that ends up being important. Let's go. I just remember, because usually that's kind of important. Again, I'm thinking with adventure game logic. So, yeah, yeah. I, if he wrote his birthday somewhere, that's obviously going to come in importance. Now, let me remember where the goddamn. I don't know, what elevator is. Let's go on out. This way. The fastest way to the elevator would actually be to take a turn here, but... Why is there a blue icon on him? Is there something more I can get from him? It's too horrible to look at. Let's go. I've already explored there, and I got my quarters, which is how I got this wedding ring. Okay. We good. Not where I meant to turn. God, I kind of need to stop double-clicking there. Over here. I still know what this bucket's for. But I think I can figure it out. I've got a toolbox or a fuse. Let's do it. Yep, replace the fuse. It sounds like the whirling of machine started up. Okay, then use the key card here. There I go. I can get the fuck out of here. I good. Let's use it. Got seen. Hey, what's going on?
She's gone. The old lady just likes hanging out with you, but huh. I don't know if that's not so dark I can't see. Strange that the old lady was in the elevator with us. Is she a supernatural entity? Is she like the scissor walker's mom? What's with that music cue? Oh. Oh. I don't like where this music cue's going. Well, this is the locked door I passed by earlier. Looks like a lot of murders happened here since last time I visited. Which is unfortunate again. Well, tread carefully, I suppose. Let's see if any items have become worthwhile here, because they did say me at the main desk. Certainly became a bit of a mess since last time I was here. Is that blood? Let's find out. Uh-oh. And the chase is on again! Not exactly the outcome I expected, but you know that works, I guess. Maybe. Nothing on these chairs. Oh, the fire hydrant! Get up, girl! Get up! That fire hydrant's gonna be your saving cause! God damn it! Stop tripping over yourself! Take it, ma'am! I also almost made it to the front desk. You're whispering. Do you hear it? Because I definitely hear whispering. I'm gonna look around a little bit before I do go to the front desk like I said I was going to. Where did I see that for sure with the layout of the ship? Over here maybe? Can I get a map? For sure it's for the cruiser. They show the layout of the ship. Yay! I've obtained the map. It looks like I can get onto the deck via the cafe on the second floor. I can get on the. Wait, let me. Let me read that. Okay. It looks like I can get out, out onto the deck from the second floor via the cafe. So, second floor of the cafe, I can get to the deck. Got it. It looks like a comfortable sofa, but there's no time to relax. Well, you know, even though the scissor starts, it's kind of weird there's just crates here. Several boxes are in the hallway. Perhaps they are from the other room. It's kind of observing. Oh, I can move this out of the way. Interesting. Before I interact with that, though, I was going to see if there's anything over here. I kind of just triggered that scene and chaos, monsters, all that fun stuff. So I didn't really get to see if there's anything at the end of the hallway, so... Let's take a solid look. Let's roll, Monica. You got this. Everything can be potentially useful. Now, I'm kind of curious what chooses how this game's storyline branches out, because there are different story branches. You can see that on the save game menu. And on top of that, there's multiple endings. We know this game has eight different endings, so... The elevator stopped functioning. All the lights on the buttons are out. Intriguing. Let's move on back there, Monica. We got this. I know. Unfortunately, she didn't put the map in her, in her inventory here, so... A little bit foolish, but, you know, what are we going to do? Let's go this way. She just kind of look around. She's just running. I don't think she's actually observing anything of use. Oh, I could end up at the second... Yeah, can I just kind of walk upstairs? There's a staircase right here. But it's blocked. But I could probably pass that easily. It's like, oh no, I can't go up there. 
whatsoever will I do, but there's multiple things I can do right now, so... Okay, I first start off over here. No, no, not over there. Not over there. Eh. I go out here. We got this. Where for art, though, will we end up? I'm going to try this door first, even though it might not be the wisest decision. Like, the scissor walker could be right here. I like how the shadow settled in. Even though the shadow looks a little bit creepy in this room. Boxes are piled upon one another. Nothing out of the ordinary. Who wants to be? I'm going to trigger the goddamn scissor walker just by looking around here. The locker is locked and will not open. One of these have to be open, right? Maybe. The locker appears to be locked. How unfortunate. This one's open. I think I think this is Walker's oh, Jessica. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Well, that's about what I expected. Ugh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the best ending here, but that's okay. Let's run. doors. I'm gonna hide here. This is a smart hiding spot. No one can tell me otherwise. I'm gonna start that breathing thing again, I'm guessing. Guess that worked. Maybe. I don't really need all that flashlight battery on. What's this, though? Let's run around the table to look at it. Shreds of the dress the clerk was cutting are scattered across the counter. Any more you can say about that? Where's the guy from before? We gotta just ask where's the guy from before again. Yep. That's what I expected. Now, can we get our jacket back? So much space and so little inside. Like, you're literally not gonna get your jacket back? I guess she doesn't care about her jacket no more. I guess her life does come with importance, but she was very concerned about that earlier. Now, I wasn't done exploring that room. Fortunately, I, I assume the best ending is save all your friends. And I assume that maybe checking out the locker with Jessica hiding inside was... Maybe that took too long, or it, it's a number of possibilities. Whatever the case, something probably made Jessica die there. But yeah, yeah, I... But hey, we're already along this story path. We'll get whatever ending we end up getting, because all endings are blind territory ending fun. Okay, now I know something's inside those. Let's see how Jessica's holding up as a corpse now. Jessica is slumped against the back of the locker. She has an eye on her. It's clear from her deathly pale skin that she'll never see the light of day. Yes. Well, I mean, you could put her in the light, but... Yeah. Oh, dear poor Jessica. Well, nothing there. There are keys here. Bunches of keys are hanging off the hooks on the wall. That must be the key. You found item. Key for the cafe. Why not just take all the keys? Several keys. None of the labels help me figure out what room each key opens. I would say obtain them anyway. Just try them on every door. I would. Let's see in here. Books related to the culinary arts are on the shelf. I've never cooked anything before. You are an upstanding citizen, apparently. Standing there. These boxes are covered in dust. I'm not going near them. Maybe I could have pulled them out on the Scissor Man. Okay, so outside of obtaining a key for the cafe, which I'll mess around with in a second, I'm gonna look over here to see if there's anything like in the party. Like maybe I can go into the party hall and see what's happened there before I go backwards. Let's go. Okay. 
And do sort of a skim of the parameter. I don't really need the flashlight on it. It definitely drains its battery fast, which is accurate to real life, so you know, whatever. Can I go outside the party hall? Why won't you open? I assume it's not the key to the cafe. Yeah, I didn't think so. Well, now I know what the dealio is. Let's go on back. Out I go. Next thing to check, the cafe. Now we've had a few fun encounters with the scissor man over there. Scissor walker. I'm just tempted to say scissor man out of habit, but I think the scissor walker is actually a cooler name personally than scissor man, but that's just me. Let's go through here. Now I assume that I can now climb up here and the keys for something, because I'm assuming. So obviously, something just giggled over here. You know what, I'm gonna be an idiot, I'm going to investigate. It's the little girl thing from earlier. But it seems to be hiding among the plants. I'm sure something was there a minute ago. Hmm. Just children fun. What do you think that's all about? Because that's the second time you've seen the little girl type set up. I think it's us as a little girl, someone else. The exit of the desk should be upstairs. <laughs> like, she just simply moves it that way. Going up the stairs. Here we are. Time to investigate. Starting with this box. Maybe I can hide myself inside one of these. Ah, good thinking. Or maybe you'll get stabbed inside the box. <laughs> it's, it's an open book right now. There's a few things that catch my eye here. What about you over there? This table is covered in a thick layer of dust. Probably hasn't been used for a while. And else you want to say about said dusty table? Nope. Eh. See if there's anything over here. Doesn't seem to be. And there's posters definitely lining the walls. Don't. Moth? That's what it looks like I said. This is one of them over there. Not the one I'm next to, like this, the one over here. Let me see what's inside this room before I do anything else. If it's got the ship's interior is accurate, I should be able to get onto the deck this way, but you have the key, it's just I'm not going to use it yet because I'm exploring. Oh, there's something on this coat rack over here. A coat hanger. Nothing is out of the ordinary here. Is that an item I could use if I was being chased? I could hide in the box where I could use the coat hanger. It's a thought. Yeah, okay, so anyway, I already have the key for this door, so even locked doors will appear green. So let me just use the key here. Ta-da! What? Why did she do that? Oh, it's dark as ever living hell in here. Uh -oh. oh. I guess we were supposed to peek up on the clue that she looked inside the room and then immediately closed the door. So, yeah. Haha! <laughs> now, do you notice that here there's a branching path line here? Like, let me show this map when I'm talking about this. We're actually still pretty early in the game. You look at how, like, let me just kind of scroll down here to see all the branching pathways that happen. Look how many. You can even go to the left and right, and there's even more branching pathways. But yeah, this does imply two things though. First of all, we're still very early in the game, and second of all, there is a crazy amount of branching pathways, especially when you get to chapter three, it seems. It looks like there's multiple dead ends, because there are supposed to be eight endings, so... So let's see, there's another pathway that we've left over here. Apparently I'm going across the right pathway though, because whatever other pathway there was would lead to an early bad end. Unless there's actually there's a few more dots than I realize. No, it would lead over here. It would split into two? So yeah, it would have led to one of there. You can't get the true ending along the path I'm not going across apparently. At least, well, I think the true end's probably the bottom one. But still though. Interesting how they show you the sort of map here though, but it gets really complicated in the middle section there. Uh, but we're still very early in the game. And because the game is splitting path lines, I'm assuming there's certain areas you can only access certain ways. Like, like here's an example. If you go down here, do you notice how that shows, like, three different areas in the middle there? 
Yeah, it's supposed to mean something. Anyways, continue. Interesting. 